now, as you can see, I've got a basic line drawing, just a quick sketch here on the canvas. And I'm gonna go ahead and just mist my background. I think it'll make it easier to, to paint, as well as misting the, the palette itself. All right, as you can see, we're gonna do something quite a bit different, which <laughs> it seems like we've been doing a lot of that recently. But I'm gonna do an ornament. I've never painted, not that, it, no. I've never painted an ornament of this size. Now, I've got a very small canvas, just because I thought it'd be nice for a change. And if you're painting this as a gift, you know, kind of a last minute gift at this point, but if you are, you know, a small canvas is good because people can easily hang that up. They've got room for it, you know? So for gifts, small painting is good. Uh, so just keep that in mind. This is something like a, uh, eight and a half by 11, I think. Something very close to that. I have to measure it, but I just found it. No telling really what it is, but anyway. I'm going to take some purple, and I'm just gonna paint this background in just a bit of a purple color. You can see I'm gonna, for the most part, follow my lines and just do it well. <laughs> you know, try not to be too sloppy with it. My Christmas tree, I'm gonna paint up into it a bit so that I can paint back over it. Of course, I'm using acrylics today, and I think that'll make it easier for getting those details. I won't have to worry about it um, making mud or anything like that. You know, that may be too much purple. I may want to put a little brown. Just want it to look modeled, you know? Just modeled. Cool. This is uh, my little, uh, what do you call that? My little fireplace, come on, brain, connect. There we go. Don't want it to be pink, so maybe I'll put a little yellow ochre in it and just go for it. There we go. I'm just, just playing around with color at this point. Now I'm gonna work through some of the starting, the beginning stages of this ornament here. Of course, this is gonna be the most interesting part of the painting. And this is the, the part I'm gonna spend the most time on. There we go, that'll work. So you can see I'm just going little bit by little bit now. It's not gonna look gold just right off the bat. It's gonna look tan, but it's not gonna look gold. See there, I don't use gold paint, right? You know metallic gold paint. So in order to paint something that looks metallic, you have to paint a reflection in it. So I'll show you how to do that. But right now, I'm just placing down some of these tan colors. And there we go, maybe a little, little more of that yellow ochre feel there. I don't want it all just yellow ochre. The secret to this color, the secret to getting kind of a, a color, like you see I'm using here, is actually a little bit of blue in it. Believe it or not, just a little bit of blue. So it's a green, almost. Doesn't look like it, but it is. And then I've got some burnt umbers I'm gonna put in later, probably. Now we'll just continue painting here around my ornament. Just get the, um, just get that little tree underpainted, which I think should be good. There we go. Yeah, just continue with that. And um, yeah, not gonna worry too much about it. I do have some, I do have a red ornament there. I was gonna plan, I was planning on doing another one, probably. I don't wanna, I don't know, maybe like right there. I don't wanna make it too symmetrical. I think that'll be nice just to have something different, you know. I'm gonna to begin to highlight this ornament, although it doesn't really need a whole lot of highlight. There we go. Because it's fairly bright as it is. Can't go much brighter. I will go a little brighter. And then, so that looks pretty good. Then I'm basically gonna just paint a few reflections. That's not quite dry down there. A few reflections of the surroundings in there. So I'm gonna reflect the surroundings, which is weird. I've never done this before. I'm gonna to try to make it look like some of this room is even visible. I don't know if you're really gonna notice it per se, but we'll see. We'll see how good or weird this looks. I can always change it if it's not quite working. We'll see, we'll see what we can do. And remember, don't forget, <laughs> I don't wanna forget this um, roundness of the ornament. Okay, now here's where it's gonna get interesting, I think. I'm gonna take a little bit of greenish color, whatever, just left over on the palette here. Muddy green, see that? And I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in. And honestly, in a kind of a sort of detailed way, I'm gonna to begin to blend in what looks like a little reflection of the tree. That's just very unique, but I think that's right, <laughs> you know? There we go, see that? That's gonna take a lot of that yellow away 
anyhow, so I don't need to worry too, too much about it. I think a lot of that we're gonna go up with this. This is actually looking okay. I may, this may take me a little while. This may take me a little while to try to get this right. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a highlight there on this side where that light's just sparkling right off it, but I'm gonna just little by little layer in, putting a lot of water in that brush so that it kind of fades and blurs. Say, so I want it a little bit soft, I don't want too sharp. There we go. You can really see it's the darks, not so much the lights that make a big, oh, okay. <laughs> the little white spots that I put there may made a difference, but it's those darks that I'm just finishing up here. These dark spots that um, I guess are just reflecting, this is my thought is, you know, it just needs to reflect the world around it, basically, you know. Uh, I did maybe kind of like the suggestion of you could kind of see some of the details of the room. Not really, but I just didn't want to just be smooth. So I put some texture in there that kind of shows, I don't know. And then here I got a nice highlight because of um, my flame, which is what I want to paint now. Let's go ahead and do that. And I've got the glow already installed. <laughs> and I may do a little bit more dry brush blending so, or, or whatever, just to try to create a little more brightness. But for now, let me just start here. Let me just start, got to start somewhere. And let me go ahead and just, um, just begin to paint in a little bit of the fire. I want this to actually be smudgy and blurry and out of focus because this is back in the background. It creates a little bit of depth by actually having it out of focus. There's like a big circle there, kind of just a bright spot. There we go, yeah. Just, again, out of focus. Put it in and then smudge, smudge, smudge. I've got the line of the canvas. I'm going to have to deal with that. Do you see it? But I'll, I'll just repaint over that and, and be a little more gentle. Maybe squirt a little water on the back of the canvas and stretch it up real tight and then go back and paint over that. That'll fix that. Should probably do that really soon. Yeah, when you're painting acrylics or any, or oils, you can spray water on the back of your canvas and it'll tighten it up. This is just an old canvas laying around here. Just want to sprinkle it on the side of that ornament right there. Good. Just so it shows a little bit of that fire color in there. I like that. It'll work. Now I'm going to go ahead and just paint in while I'm here. Let me just paint in these ornaments. These are dry a long time ago. And I'm not going to do them nearly as in, intense as that one. I'm just going to, I'm just going to let them be more impressionistic. And maybe cover them. Oops, that's not very round. Or maybe cover them with a branch. <laughs> yeah, let's definitely do that. But that's kind of pretty. Good, beautiful, solid, deep, not solid, but deep, vivid colors, not too much white. White is not gonna be, not gonna be too good there. And just like anything else, you can put your shadows in as well. Just boom. Some, some shadow. Yeah. I'm just gonna play around with this till I get it. I'm no expert at this. I'm just I'm just experiment. This whole thing is just a fun experiment for me, really. And hopefully you enjoy just the highlights of it. Because I didn't spend as much time on these red ornaments, I'm going to for sure, for sure get covered up here with some of these branches. Plus, it'll just help them look pushed into the painting a little bit more. I am not, however, doing it on this one because it's just out in the forefront. I, I want it to just stand out, you know. I want it to have that appearance of like, whoa, you know, coming forward. So there you go. Although I'm trying to make it look a little bit, honestly, almost like a fake tree, like, a, like an artificial tree. In some ways, I kind of wanted to have that feeling, which is maybe not a great idea, but if it kind of comes out looking that way, then, then I'd be okay. Because my, my tree's artificial, <laughs> you know? So this reminds me of my tree. Although I don't have a fireplace. That's pretty cool. I like a fireplace. Just don't like having to deal with it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that'll work. I just got we have a few strokes down there, a few strokes up here. Cover some of the lights because they should be kind of in the tree, not just out of the tree. There you go. Well, that wraps things up for this quick video, but hopefully you enjoyed it. It certainly was a different subject. I learned a lot on it. Don't forget to check out our website, DVDs, and Brushline, and also Patreon. Thanks for watching.
Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe if you're not already and click the like button. It helps me out a lot. Stick around, watch a couple more videos and stay inspired.